This conference will now be recorded. Hi, I'm Moneyflow Mel with Black Box Stocks. Wanted to go over a phantom print we had come in today into the queues. Um, they are extremely rare. We don't see them very often. And with the previous activity that we've noted and tracked, when we see a phantom print, um, they tend to gravitate towards that price. So what is a phantom print? Um, it's not really an official naming. It's just kind of a way, uh, a name that we used to be able to communicate when we have a phantom print come through the dark pool because in the past, and I'll go over some of those historical um, examples, price has gravitated towards those levels. Uh, so I have the uh, dark pool activity isolated to show <clears throat> Um, all of the activity we had in the queues today and starting from er earlier this morning, we had smaller real-time prints coming through at 381, uh, 83, 382, 10, but at 1154, we had a uh, 441,000 share dark bull print at 392.05. And immediately what we can decipher and tell is that's outside of where we have normally been trading. Now, we often see signature prints, which are the delayed prints that record to the tape the next day. You'll note that they're usually right at the close of yesterday's activity. They hold and delay recording those prints to the next day, which I have flagged and marked right here, which today acted as really nice support. Um, and we know that we're going to have those come through and record all throughout the day. So our signature print level today was 380.56. And because we know that we will see delayed activity come through regarding our signature print levels for the major indices, we like to do a look back for the last 24 hours. And so when we assess a phantom print, we're not looking just to say that there's activity out of today's current range. Um, we're going back and we're looking at a 24 hour period um, to be able to decipher and see, have we traded at that signature print level in the last 24 hours? So today's signature print level at 392.05 was outside of the range that we had. That's gonna be up here. And we have not traded there um, since back on 1216. So we know that we'll see delayed printing in dark holes up to 24 hours. Um, that's going to be most common in your major indices, um, SPY, Q, IWM, DIA, we'll also see it uh, sometimes in UBXY and the uh, VXX as well. But what makes that so unique is just because of some of the history that we've had monitoring and trading around some of the phantom prints. So I'm going to jump over to a different chart so that we can go and review um, the previous activity before we go into cues. I've got a very naked chart, just want to be able to really hone in and show this um, price action so you guys can see the activity that we've had before. And one of the most compelling examples was before SPY had even been trading at the 400, we had not broken 400 price range yet. So while, and, and had never been trading um, at that 400 range, we had a very large phantom print come through that gave us some clues that we may see some upside um, before we actually made the move and broke through 400. So just trying to really tighten up this chart and zoom in so that everybody can see. I know this font is a little bit smaller, but let's talk through the activity we had come through. So you'll see this candle here. Um, this is going back to March 26th, and you can see the price range of this candle at that time um, was 390.55 by 396.57. So pretty strong day um, in the SPY. We had a phantom print come in at 403.90. That was 1.25 million shares. And again, this is the day that it came in while we were not trading within that pricing range. And I do have a, not that one, I did have a bigger screenshot um, so that you guys can see that on the tape. And it was also actually notable size um, on this print because we had 1.25 million shares um, 
here we go, uh, 1.25 million shares at 403.90. We were looking for them to possibly come back and cancel this order. Our system identifies and flags because we're tied directly to the dark pool exchanges when there's a cancellation and it happens. Oftentimes there's orders that need to be canceled because uh, something got fat fingered. Maybe the number of um, shares were incorrect or perhaps you know the share size, what they'll do is they'll come back and cancel and reprint. So that's normal, we expect to see that. But this never canceled out of the time and sales. This stayed in the book and the why and the how behind it, don't know. To me, that goes and gets a little too far in the weeds. What I do know historically is when we've seen this activity, it's been very directional. Um, so for example, uh, on this larger print, the 40390, um, we had two inside days before trying to break out. Um, and then ultimately uh, you can see the move that we had once we we're able to break through. We actually gapped up, the easiest way to get through resistance is a gap, um, gapped up and we just didn't really look back <laughs> at that point once we broke through 400, um, we just really kept going. And even having this on your chart, you can see where this did become an area that got tested accepted and then we just never have looked back since we've had that dark pool print come into play. So let's take a look at another example, um, this time to the downside. And again, these are rare, you don't see them often, but it's something um, because I'm on voice all through the trading day that the team and everybody knows like this is a pay attention moment. Um, we don't see them that often. So here's another example, a little more recent, September 20, well, not really, September 21st, 250,000 shares at four, 3571. That print came through on this day when the trading range was 441.90 by 444.05. And you can tell in the last 24 hours before this print came through, we were not trading at that level. In this instance, we gapped down. I don't know if it was news, really don't care. We already knew that there was going to be some potential downside. Um, the 435.71. So you can see in the previous example, it took a few days before price to actually um, accept at that level, but it does become kind of a signaling, if you will, um, for you know where price action is going. And on that date, we uh, you know did gap down and continued to see downside, and that was a hell of a move. Um, a lot of people were already in that position as soon as we saw that and got that called out on voice. So there's an example that gives you kind of um, an idea of what we've seen previously to the upside, an example going over what we've seen to the downside, one taking a few days to play out, another one happening immediately. And so um, while we're not or have not seen any phantom dark pool activity in the SPY, we do have one that came through today on the queues. So first, let's go ahead and take a look um, at the daily. Uh, you can see where we are today and what that candle looks like and where that um, phantom print came in. I just wanna go and zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see that on the one minute and what that looked like when that came in. So um, here, is the activity for today um, with today's range mapped out that did come in at 11.54. Um, again, that being the time that came in, but essentially that print level is well above. And I kind of just wanted to show you, you know, <laughs> the move that came in after we we're already having a pretty decent rally once we were able to break through today's opening range but even in just uh as far as a day trade knowing that information you had price run 386.17 all the way up to 389.53 um and we still have not touched that yet. So does that mean it's going to be tomorrow? Um timing as aspect you know is unknown um just reviewing historical one has taken a few days um the other you know was immediate but do want to draw attention also to another larger dark pool print that we had come through today 2.5 million shares on the queues at 388.45 um, originally rejecting that price level on a retest price 
finding this area, accepting above and a very strong close into the end of the day. So I'm gonna go back over to the black box platform. I actually was not looking at the options flow on the queues today, but it is worth noting. Remember that phantom print level is 192.05. The sweeper activity and this is actually some decent size these expire this thursday we know we're closed um, for christmas 1223 392.50s these are coming through yellow which lets us know that we are exceeding open interest above the ask above the ask above the ask above the ask look at this contract price as they come in it continues to go up and we have some decent size here this is not 10,000 12,000 this is 98,000, 408,000, 186,000, 302,000, 200. We have some interesting size considering that these expire in two days. Um, and we also have some of the dark pool activity that came in with it. So just it, trying to put this all together using all the information we have. And I think that's something I feel is truly the black box stocks advantage is that we don't just show you the information and expect you to navigate all of this on your own. We have seasoned uh, traders um, live on voice all through the trading day discussing this information. So I really hope that you found this of uh, value. Again, I am at Mel Stone 31 Money FOMO. Um, we do still have the holiday promotion that has been extended through the end of the year. You can get the discount for your yearly at $8.59 or just try us for a month, 20% off your first month. The code is going to be here pinned in my bio. I definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to um, really spend the time to educate yourself, uh, your curiosity to get a little bit more in tune and, and really take a deeper dive. Uh, I absolutely love being able to put these together um, and coordinate the money flow that we're seeing in order to find actionable trades. I hope you guys all have a good night and we'll see you in the morning.